Okay, boys and girls, so this video you guys are going to see is from April 30th. It's the day after Caleb and I went fishing with the trap on the river. Um, and we caught a bunch of big fish in this video. There are a ton of fish catches, some large mouth, some small mouth. But what we were doing was fishing with a jig. And I haven't posted a jig video in a long time. But we were taking a half ounce flipping style jig and skipping it around docks and shallow cover. It's a really good way to get a lot of big bites in the pre-spawn. And it's something that I love to do, especially up here in Michigan. One thing I've noticed is that it's not as prevalent across the country but we have a lot of shallow cover a lot of that sparser grass um, it's a really good way to get a lot of big bites we're flipping a half ounce green pumpkin with a little bit of orange jig and a black and blue trailer you guys will see that throughout the video but if you guys have any questions or comments hit us up in the comment section and I'll respond to those as well but enjoy today's video you got any last words for me last words mm. let's go catch one stay warm today no rain Last words is in Caleb's last day. Uh, it's unfortunate, but we've had an awesome time so far. Caught a lot of really big fish. I think Caleb's caught four over five four pounds over already. Five pounds and, some five and a bunch pounds. of fours. Yep. And a ton of threes. And yep. a bunch of twos. Caleb's really been crushing it. But we're going to a lake today that has some really big fish in it. We're going to go out, try to find some of those big mega, mega giants, and uh, spend some time out there. It's a lake I have very little history on. Only been on a handful of times, but... Um, had a lot of really good tournament success out there back when I used to fish tournaments like six or seven years ago. And uh, I'm excited to get back out there, see if we can catch a couple and maybe get Caleb out a new PB. We'll Let's see. Let's do it. It's go time. Mm-hmm. Choked it, dude. <laughs> Look at how he choked that jig. Gone. Dude, look at that. Freaking gone. Solid fish. Thanks, dude. One of the big things about finding fish is figuring out kind of what they're sitting on. Um, and taking every bite and kind of analyzing like what that fish was doing and why he was there. One thing that Caleb and I are kind of bouncing back and forth on is like, what are these fish actually holding on? Are they holding on to a certain like type of bank, certain type of cover, certain type of structure? Are they sitting on turns? Are they sitting on points? Are they sitting on, you know, straight banks that have sand on them? So just kind of analyze everything. We've caught a couple fish doing a couple different things, gotten a couple bites on turns. Um, we're trying to put some stuff together, both swimming, a bait. I think they want a moving bait. Um, Caleb caught a couple swimming a jig down tree limbs, and I caught one swimming a jig uh, down the bank. And there's a bunch of bait fish on the bank, but it's going to be interesting to see if we can catch a couple more, put a pattern together, or if it's just going to kind of be junk fishing down down the lake. So that's how I work. If dirt shows me or tells me something. That was hard. Dude, that was sweet. That's a good smallie. Ooh, good smallie. Holy crap, I didn't think he was that big. Dude, that's a, that's a freaking tanker. <laughs> Need a boat flip. Me, that one. Big one. I'm not boat flipping mine because, because I got a light wire hook. Good work, dude. <laughs> I just put mine on the carpet. <laughs> I know that wasn't a high five, but I gave you one. Hey, Ben. I think the seawall is a good idea. <laughs> oh, the inside turn's a good idea. 
Look at that. Check that out, dude. Two and a half, three pounder. Yeah. How big's yours? Three and a half? Yeah, it's a big one. Gosh, man, that was cool. Doubles. <laughs> Thanks, fish. So I'm gonna jig and you flip it a jig. Inside turn, wherever's that. <laughs> oh, my adrenaline's going right now. Like, whoo. Gosh, dude. It's that inside turn, man. I missed one. Oh, I'm shaking, man. How did I do that? I need to get that out. We got a stick in the water. I bet there will be a fish on that. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a tree limb. These large mouth choke it though. Called that shot. Not a giant. Oh yeah, that's a big one. 315. Heck yeah. Dang near a four pounder, dude. <laughs> Caleb's like, I'm getting back to fishing, so you can hold it up. Do you want a picture or no? Oh uh, yeah, actually I do. He can fish a Senko and he's gonna hit that fish so hard. Well, we ended up chasing a bite that wasn't quite ready yet, but now we're back here on the main lake chasing the bite that we know was working this morning. So, spent about three hours doing stuff that wasn't ready, got a couple pike bites, eliminated some water, and now we're back to the main lake. Tail hook. Oh, <laughs> oh dude. <laughs> Good job. Uh, we caught that. him. Three pounder. Uh, we caught him. Three pounder on that little swank. Popped off in the net. Well, popped off and then popped Caleb off, hooked and then it. He swam or into the swam net. In. I don't know. Caleb got it for us. <laughs> oh, that's a chunker. Oh, that's Thanks, awful. fish. That was that was pricey. That's a chunk, dude. Oh, ain't that jig, man. That's a chunky, healthy fish. Nom, nom, nom. Chunk, chunk, chunk. Chewing that jig. Nice fish. We've run about 35 different patterns. <laughs> we've run main lake, we've run river, we've run just about everything. I know. But all of it has been like right on or right off the main water. Oh, see the 
like that fish. Yeah. <laughs> that was cool. Giant, dude. Oh, oh shoot. Got jumped in. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Lead. It's a big old one eye. Doug. Go, dude. <sighs> Flipping docks. So quiet when that happened. Dude, that is my favorite way to catch them. Your line, you lifted up, and that line was going just ever so slowly. Gosh. Slowly, Can you get my photo. Yes, that's sick, dude. That is so <laughs> sick. God, look at this fish. I'm gonna get a weight on it real quick, get her back. Uh, zeros. zeros. Oh, yeah, boy. Oh, yeah, boy. Four two. Four, two. <laughs> Four pounder boys. Four pounds, two ounces. That's so much fun. I flipped up under that dock. We called it. I mean, that dock set up just perfect. Uh, it's a wood dock leading back up into a spawning bay. Four pounder ate it. I'm gonna let her let her go. Thank you, fish. Swims away. <laughs> That's sweet, dude. Oh, that was fun. That was that was pretty sweet, dude. Needed that one. Needed that one. Needed that felt good. And the fact that like you could you could tell that was where that fish yeah. was supposed to be. Yeah. Again, the point. Right. One six nine. We're breaking. Do it right there. Check that out. Chewing that jig, man. Thanks. So I had a. What's that? <laughs> Holy smokes. Must have had just enough depth. <laughs> Caleb goes, Ben, that dock have any depth under it? Uh, nah. Nah, fam. Skip that jig up under there and it's just swarming it out. And old Smalley said, sir, you were wrong. But that fish didn't miss the swim jig. Three and a half, four pound smallmouth. Let's get her on a scale. Zeros. Oh, not nearly as big as I thought. Three and a half. <laughs> Three and a half pound smallie. That is sweet. That's so cool. Thanks, smallmouth. See you, buddy. So I hope that you guys enjoyed that video. We caught almost 19 pounds, tons and tons of fish catches, flipping a jig around shallow cover, one of my favorite ways to catch fish early season. And it's not something I do a whole lot when I'm fishing for smallmouth, but I can do it early season when those fish are up in the rivers and catch a ton of fish. So if you guys enjoyed that video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below because it'll let you know when I post more videos just like this one here. I also want to say one thing, I have recently launched a Patreon. So if you guys want to support the channel through Patreon, it'll be linked down in the description below. Go check it out because there's going to be a lot of really cool things and ways that I can interact with you guys through that. So if you guys want to support the channel uh, through Patreon, you guys can do that as well. But thank you guys for watching and as always, take care of tight lines. God bless. Pursue passion.